What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. So I got a few minutes before I gotta head back to this client presentation, but I wanted to show you guys some really dope plugins that absolutely saved my life when it came to creating these really awesome glitch effects and transitions. Now, I know a lot of you have been like, Nate, how do you make such dope glitch effects and transitions? And I got a little secret for you. Shh, don't tell anybody else unless you share them this video and hit like and subscribe. Nah, I'm just playing, you, you guys will let me know. Yeah, the secret sauce to making all of these really dope effects is using plugins. Now, I know that creating glitch effects right inside of After Effects can be a huge challenge and a little bit daunting when you're starting from scratch, but with the help of these plugins that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about, they're not only gonna save you a whole lot of time, but they're also gonna save you a whole lot of headache and even help you create stuff that previously was not even possible to do in After Effects. So yeah, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Whoosh. In this video, we're gonna be going over the best of the best glitch plugins. I know that there's a whole lot out there, some ranging from the hundreds of dollars to some ranging to the tens of dollars. And you know what? Surprisingly, you guys don't have to spend an insane amount of money to make some really dope stuff inside of After Effects. All these plugins on this list are gonna be under $100. Shoot, some of them are even gonna be under $50. And I know that may seem like a lot when you're just starting out, but once you start getting clients and you're like, yo, I can create this kind of effect or this one, and you start charging them up, these plugins are gonna be the ones that are also gonna save me money because they're gonna save you a whole lot of time. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Okay, so first up on the list, we have a plugin from one of my favorite developers of all time, Plug and Play. That's right, we're talking about Datamosh 2, which is a super dope plugin that lets you create all sorts of super dope data mosh effects right inside of After Effects. You can find this plugin on AE Scripts for about $50. And honestly, I don't think that there's any plugin out there that is even remotely comparable to Data Mosh 2 because data moshing in itself is a process that requires distorting footage and changing the encoding. And back in the day, this process was pretty much impossible to do inside of After Effects. But thanks to Data Mosh 2, you're able to fully customize data mosh effects and also just benefit from the really awesome presets that they have, allowing you to do things like delete iframe and use markers and control motion vectors in a super easy to use user interface. Now, unlike the other plugins on this list, this one actually has its own extension window, which has a whole lot of really dope options. And I just love the UI and the ease of use and creating really awesome customizable effects. This plugin has hands down been my favorite one for creating data mosh effects right on the fly. I was first inspired to create data mosh glitch art when I was checking out music videos like the Kanye West one or even ASAP Rocky's Lamborghini High. But nowadays you can create this effect so much easier using the plugin Data Mosh 2 for After Effects. This by far has to be one of the most impressive plugins to date when it comes to creating Data Mosh effects because it takes the headache of having to remove iframes and hijacking motion and it takes that all into the forefront within the user interface so you can create all sorts of really dope effects. Not only that, but it works super fast and it looks super clean. And at a price point of about $50, I think it's really affordable. And for that reason, Data Mosh 2 gets a well-deserved Black Mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so next up on the list at number two, we have another plugin that has two in the name. That's right, I'm talking about A Pixel Sorter 2. And guess what? This plugin does exactly what the name suggests. It sorts pixels. Now, if this is something you've never heard about before, I can probably guarantee that you may have actually already seen this effect somewhere in some sort of trailer or music video, because this one I've just seen just about everywhere. Even when I was looking up an Andrew Kramer conference speech, the trailer of this actually used Pixel Sorter 2 to create this effect. Now, I don't know if there's even a way to do this inside of After Effects without using this plugin. And trust me, I've tried and spent a lot of hours just trying to make something like this when I first saw it. But thanks to this plugin and its price point of about $40, I was instantly able to get messing around with it and creating all sorts of really dope stuff. Yo, so I've used this plugin in so many projects. Like it, it's honestly ridiculous. Like especially this one when I got to use a pixel sorter to create these really sick transitions in this 
music video. And you know what? I ended up doing it again in another music video. The results on this just look super dope and it's really easy to use. In fact, I can just show you really quickly what it looks like. So here we have the logo animation that I did earlier. I'm gonna just turn off the pixel sorter effect right here. Let me hit play on this so you can check it out. So bam, we have this neon text to glow animation, which you guys might recognize from our previous tutorial on electric neon text animations. But if we wanna take this to a whole nother level, I have applied an A pixel sorter too right on top of it. And by increasing the smoothness, instantly you can start to see that I'm getting these pixels sorted from their original position into something vertically, or I can even change the angle of them, get really crazy and funky effects with this. And not only that, I think it looks really dope and really useful for creating glitch transitions. I just love how customizable and how fun and easy to use this effect is. And for that reason, A Pixel Sorted 2 gets a well-deserved Black Mixture stamp of approval. Okay, we are on to now my favorite out of the list of plugins here. I know that each of these I say is my favorite, but guess what? This one is probably the one that I've stuck with for the longest time. I've been using this plugin, I think for almost maybe like five to eight years at this point. That's right, I'm talking about Robite's Data Glitch. Now you can find this plugin either in their TV Distortion Bundle Pack, which costs about $100, but honestly, I don't think that whole pack is worth it because a few of the plugins on there, I think you can actually create the same exact effect just using the presets and after effects like the bad warp tv effect that they have here however robites data glitch 2 is only 50 dollars, and i think it's pretty much their bread and butter when it comes to the dope glitch effects that they have my favorite quality about this plugin is just how easy to use it is and just how fast it is it's highly customizable and it works so quickly in fact i could just show you this right here on this footage so here i have the same exact animation from earlier but now I have a data glitch applied to it to where I could just use this slider on the glitch count and change it from zero to something super crazy and funky in just a matter of seconds. Not only that, if I wanna fine tune these settings, I can just go in as well and keyframe the animations or even change the scan type from strip to image and I get all sorts of really dope effects. This plugin has saved me so much time when it came to creating music videos, glitch impacts for trailers, and for beefing up some regular animations because let's face it, glitch art is something that is used time and time again. To save me a whole lot of time, this plugin has came in clutch and I can't recommend it enough. Now you can find this plugin on A scripts for about $50, which I think after using it for about five to eight years, I think is well, well worth it. And hey, sometimes the price even drops even further than that. So this plugin is really dope and I can't recommend it enough. And for that reason, it gets a well-deserved Black Mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so that was it for the plugins on this list. But hey, if you guys got some plugins that I did not mention, leave us a comment down below so I can check it out. And also you can help everyone else who's got all these cool uh, projects that they got lined up. Oh, hey, does anyone want to see a challenge for After Effects? Let us know down below what you want to see us create because I have no idea what you guys want to know. And the way that we get most of these video ideas are from you guys, the audience watching. Whenever you hit that like button and say, yo, this was a dope video. And whenever you comment down below, and say yo send us some more guess what we do we send you some more anyways love y'all thanks for watching hope to catch you in the next one peace Yo, check this thing out. This thing is pretty sick, right? It's an acrylic glass black mixture thing that we got from YouTube. They're super dope, yo. Hooking us up with the black mixture logo. Look at this thing, it lights up. All right, we got other videos planned by the way. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen any of these that are listed, you might as well check them out or check out our channel.